In this video, we actually want to construct a quadratic function where we know its vertex is 1, negative 5, and its y-intercept is going to be 0, negative 3. Now, having the vertex is the most valuable point on a parabola because given the vertex form f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, we can fill in the two parameters h and k immediately by using 1 for a and negative 5 for k. This gives us the formula f of x equals a times x minus 1 squared minus 5. Now we just have to determine this leading coefficient a for which the y-intercept can help us out here. Because if the y-intercept is 0, negative 3, this tells us that f of 0 is equal to negative 3. So negative 3, which is going to equal f of 0. Using the formula here, we see that's equal to a times 0 minus 1 squared minus 5, which simplifies to be a times negative 1 squared minus 5, which is going to be a minus 5. That is summarizing a minus 5 equals negative 3. If we then add 5 to both sides, a equals 5 minus 3, which is equal to 2. And so this tells us that our quadratic function y equals, well, let's call it f of x, that's what it was called, f of x equals 2 times x minus 1 squared minus 5, which if we want to, we could just leave it in the vertex form. And this then gives us a function that has the behavior we want of this parabola. If you don't want it in vertex form, we can multiply it out. We're going to get 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 5. Distribute the 2. We get 2x squared minus 4x plus 2 minus 5. And this equals 2x squared minus 4x uh, minus 3 in that situation. So you could, use, you could use this information right here if you want the standard form. Notice, of course, that if you have a quadratic function, uh, let's say you have f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Notice that this c right here is, of course, just going to be the y-intercept. This is a negative 3 right there. That's, a, that's, that's an observation that's very useful to hold here as well. So we can actually build a quadratic function with the information from its vertex or its y-intercept. Or honestly, you could take the vertex at any point on the parabola. And we could have done similar something like this to find the coefficient a and get us a function for that quadratic function.